Is it gonna work as good as micro needle treatment or more invasive beauty treatment? Keep watching. This is the Sika Ruta Shop 100 Essence. I'm gonna be telling you today if it's really micro needling in the bottle. Is it a scam? Is it a gimmick? As a chemist who's an expert in skincare formulations, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So keep watching. Social media has not stopped raving about this product. It is all over my For You page. Everyone is talking about it. It's sold out a couple times. So I naturally was curious to know. So the minute I landed in Korea last year, I ran over to the aisle where this was stocked and I grabbed it really quick. Partly because of FOMO and largely because I really wanted to see if it really did work and also obviously find out the science behind it as well. If it's your first time seeing my face, I'm a cosmetic chemist and I help consumers make informed decisions about their skincare products and skincare formulations because they're all about serious, well-informed, well-researched skincare talk on this page. If all that sounds good to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Let's get into this video. This product contains little needle-like ingredients called hydrolyzed sponges. That's what you see as an ingredient list. The sponges are called spicules. The technology behind this is literally mimicking the technology behind microneedling. A big challenge that we have when it comes to formulation is drug delivery or product delivery into the deep layers of the skin. Now the skin has a stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of the epidermis and getting ingredients through this layer is so hard. That's why you have things like this that come out on the market and even exosomes that have receptors that want to bind to receptors on the skin to enable products to go deeper into the skin or product encapsulation like in retinol where the retinol is encapsulated so it can go deeper into the skin. So there's so many different technologies coming out because the goal is to enhance delivery because if you formulate a product and it's not able to reach the area where it's supposed to reach. Essentially, you are scamming people out of their money and no one wants to feel like they're wasting money or throwing money down the drain. Well, these tiny spikes are about 15 nanometers long, at least on the 100 essence. And these needles are so tiny, you literally could not see them when you look at the product. It feels and looks like a regular serum, although you start to feel that quick pinch right when you wow. apply it. At least that was my experience the minute I put it in my hand first to patch test. I was like, no way this is going to my face. But promise it gets better. Now when this serum is applied to the skin surface, it works on the skin surface and forms tiny little pathways or channels to help the active ingredients essentially sink into the skin while exfoliating the skin simultaneously. It creates tiny little punctures in the skin to enable this product delivery because the skin is designed to not let things in. As I said earlier, it's made up of hydrolyzed silica, which is essentially these tiny little micro needle like ingredients. I believe Medicube has the exosome version that's made out of a different ingredient, but this one, from VT Cosmetics is out of natural silica. And the mechanism of action is when this starts to work, you start to feel a mild tingling sensation. Could be more just depending on your skin. And while you feel the sensation, what's happening is your skin is beginning to get renewed and refined. I saw a discourse on Reddit where I believe Dr. Dre made a video about this product potentially causing long-term damage to the skin. I did some research and this product actually gets sloughed off the skin. So microscopically what happens is that when you have your natural shedding process of your skin naturally exfoliating itself, the silica does get washed off. In the Reddit thread, there was someone who linked the BuzzFeed article. There was that one girl that had the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash that had the little tiny granules stuck in her pores. Her esthetician found it. So that's not going to be the case with this. This readles or spikes are coated with Centella Asiatica complex, which is a popular coating ingredient used for treating inflammation in the skin. There's four compounds found in the complex. Medicasoside, Asiaticoside, Medicasic Acid, Asiatic Acid. The Medicasoside and Asiaticososide inhibit any any inflammatory pathway while the acids stimulate collagen synthesis in the dermis. This dual action approach is why you see such comprehensive results. The molecular weight of this compound is about 500 Daltons, which is on the small side, and this helps ensure skin penetration and optimal bioavailability. This formulation pairs the Sika complex with pentanol, which is essentially provitamin B5, and this converts to pentanoic acid, which enhances barrier function and also helps to soothe the skin. Very low weight triple hyaluronic acid complex, like sodium hyaluronate, for optimal penetration to the stratum corneum, niacinamide at a 5% concentration, the clinically proven concentration for barrier repair without irritation. It's also pH balance between 5 and 5.5 to maintain your skin's acid mantle. Lastly, there's green propolis extract to soothe the skin and a huge amino acid complex to protect and help repair the skin's barrier. So all of these ingredients are essentially what this Sika complex is trying to form this pathway to optimize its delivery into the skin. This definitely would not work the same as microneedling. Micro not only does it work at the time that the treatment is performed, 
but it also works over time. I'm talking like months after treatment is done, it still continues to fire this fibroblast to continue to produce more collagen. And you can check out this video right here where I talked about my treatment when I was in Korea, where I got my crinoline done. This is one of those things where, yes, it works as you use it, but the minute you stop, it probably would not work as much. From a scientific perspective, this is definitely still a serum. It's still a topical product that can only do so much. Now, this product was launched with three different dosages. I believe they've added on the 50 and the 1000, but it was I believe it was initially launched with three uh, dosages, the 100, the 300, and the 700. Now, I've tried the 100, and and like I said earlier, it did hurt when I put it on my hand, but for some reason on my face, it didn't hurt as much. And honestly, as I've continued to use it, I don't feel it as much. I tried the 700 and here's my reaction. You can feel this one. Wow. It definitely feels more concentrated. Over half a million secret riddles in this one. This one definitely needs to be worked up to. Don't be like me. Feels a lot pricklier and thicker. I don't know if I'm going to go above the 700. I think this is probably where I'm going to stop just because I do want to see maybe after a year how my skin feels using it. My mother-in-law actually sent this one to me because she's an esthetician. She's been for years and years, so she loves it. Literally only trying it because she recommends it, but I definitely feel my skin looks a lot more vibrant after incorporating this product into my routine. As you can see, the texture between the 100 and 700 is significantly different, and a lot of people have pointed this out it's because the 700 actually has a lot more ceramides in it it has shea butter pretty up on the ingredient list it also has a higher dosage of film formers but the 100 gives you that more glassy looking skin when you first apply it just because for one it's thinner has a lower viscosity and it also has film formers at higher up in the ingredient list to where that film is formed pretty quickly and then you kind of start to see that glossy reflection in your skin i saw an article that said that some of the founders or the microneedling committee from Korea has actually met up with the University of Tokyo people who are also into the microneedling technology and they are trying to find uh, or create a product where the needles are a lot smaller where you almost don't even feel it because people are experiencing discomfort obviously they do want to reach a higher clientele they do want to make the product less painful for more people to use this product has no fragrances no paraben or any potential irritants so if that is comforting for you as a sensitive skin girly or guy Guy, then hopefully that puts you at ease when using this product. Let me know if you use it if you have sensitive skin. I would imagine it might hurt a lot if you have sensitive skin or if you have acne, just be careful. I'll definitely do a patch test first. Also don't use this product if you do something like microneedling treatment or like a radio frequency treatment or anything of that nature because you will possibly harm your skin. Overall, as a chemist with expertise in skincare formulation, I will say this product's formulation is pretty solid. I did see a few articles, but one article stood out to me where they tried the delivery of two different peptides and the delivery of the peptide where they use microneedles was a lot more effective than the one that didn't have the needles in it. So this product, the question isn't if it works or not, it does work. However, is it going to work as good as microneedling treatment or more invasive treatments? Definitely not. It's still just a serum. There's going to be new developments in this product. It's a fair new product there's going to be more stuff that's going to come out with this product but for now it's definitely one of those things where continuously developing like i just told you they are doing a lot of stuff with the university of tokyo to try to find more ways to enhance delivery of, of this product and the ingredients overarchingly that's the whole goal here but for now i will say definitely chemist approved just be very careful with it not gonna lie when i touch my skin it feels like there are needles in it but over a few days i've noticed that when i don't use it i don't feel the needle as much so i'm pretty sure it definitely gets loud out and if it's not then um vt cosmetics you do not want that lawsuit <laughs> if you enjoyed this video be sure to like this video subscribe it'll really help me out and it'll help people who are wondering about this product if they should buy it or not and just help people make more informed decisions which is what i'm all about on this page making more informed decisions about skincare products and skincare ingredients you want to know more about k beauty products and the products I bought while I was in Korea because I actually bought a lot. Check out this video right here and if you want to know about all the beauty treatments I did in Korea, check out this video right here. If you've tried this product, please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. There's so many opinions about it. I can't wait to have a conversation about this in the comments with you guys. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!